second graders, we're back. We are going to do some which doesn't belong because I heard you guys really had fun the last time we did that. So I'm going to step aside so you can see what I have written down here. So here we go. We've got this right here showing a 10, 20, 30, 31. Then we've got some crossed out. We've got this over here, 31 minus 11. We've got this right here that just says two tens. And then we've got this one here that says 10, 10, 5, 5, 1 with some crossed out. All right, so I want you right now to hit pause and I want you to think about which one doesn't belong, but don't forget, there's no real wrong answer. You just have to come up with a reason. All right, everybody hit pause. Okay, we should be unpaused and now we are back. So I want to know what you thought, but I'm sad because you're not here and I have to figure it out on my own. So I'm taking my guesses and then you can tell me if I got it. Some of you I actually tell me, hey, Mrs. Compton, you got my guess or you didn't get mine. I did it this way. I love when you guys tell me stuff like that. Okay, so let's see here. Maybe you would say this one doesn't belong. So I would say the bottom left doesn't belong because it just says two tenths. And then maybe somebody would say, well, but this one is also showing two tens. Hmm. So let's see, would this one not belong? Is it totally different from all of the other ones? Let's find out. So here is the number 31, and then they took off a 10 and one more. So they took off 11. And what's left? Two tens right here, right? So it actually does fit in, even though it doesn't really look like it. Okay, which one doesn't belong? You just, there's no wrong answer. You just have to give me your reason. That's right. Okay, so let's check this one out. Maybe somebody would say, this one doesn't belong. So the bottom right doesn't belong because maybe they're saying, you would say like, oh, there aren't two tenths, but there's a 10 and a five and a five left, right? So we started with 10, 20, 25, 30, 31. So started with 31, crossed off 11, but two tens aren't left. A 10 and two fives are left. So maybe somebody would say, if you put this into a 10, it would belong. Maybe. All right, let's see here. Maybe, ooh, I know, I know. Somebody's gonna say this one. Somebody is gonna say this, I know it. Somebody's gonna say this one doesn't belong because it doesn't show the answer. All of the other ones show the answer, but this one doesn't. 31 minus 11 is what? It is two tenths. The answer is two tenths, AKA 20. Now, it doesn't say it though. So maybe some of you thought that one didn't belong. I don't know. My mind is rolling around with all these ideas. Can you please tell me if I got your idea? Okay, we are going to move on to our story problem. Now, get ready, because it's Halloween time and we are focused on that candy corn, you guys. Candy corn, the most delicious sugary treat of all time. All right. Here we go, candy corn. Leo counted hmm, pieces of candy corn. Then he ate some. Now he has hmm, pieces of candy corn left. How many pieces of candy corn did Leo eat? Whoa! We have to figure out how many pieces he ate? Okay, let's see our just right number sets so we can imagine what the, uh, some numbers in there. I have to read it twice, sometimes even three times, and you should too. All right, we have 130, 120 and 35, 150 and 80, or 233 and 78. But you're not choosing the hardest number set until you have a good, solid strategy for these number sets, right? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get my post-it notes. And you are going to wait. Just kidding. 
well, not really. You are going to wait. <laughs> okay, I've got 100. I'm going to put that one here. I like to choose the first number set just so I know I've got it down. And then 30 is going to go next. Right there. Okay. Leo counted 100 pieces of candy corn. Lucky Leo. He's got a hundred of those things. Don't eat them all at once though, Leo, because you're going to go crazy and hyper and everybody is going to be like, Leo, calm down. So Leo, be careful. Leo counted a hundred pieces of candy corn. Then he ate some. Now he has 30 pieces of candy corn left. How many pieces of candy corn did Leo eat? So he started with 100, he's got 30 left. How many went down the hatch? Leo, you need to come down from your sugar high and get to work, okay? Okay, all right, kids, it's up to you. Don't eat the candy corn while you're trying to solve this problem. Wait till later. All right, grab your stuff, get ready. See you next time, bye.